Hi everybody. I'm Miss Heather and this is my son Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> and tonight we're going to read you a book called Spend It by Cinders McLeod. It's a money bunny book. We received this book through Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. It's a wonderful program that sends books uh, to children, I believe once a month between birth and five years of age. Um, so if you're not already participating in this wonderful program, I'd recommend looking into it. So spend it. This is Sunny. This is Sunny's mom. And this is Sunny's allowance jar. This is where he keeps his carrots. Carrots are money in bunny land. Every Saturday, Sonny gets three carrots for his allowance. Sonny loves Saturdays. I want to buy everything. Everything? Yes, everything. When I see a toy rocket, I want to buy it. When I see a pogo stick, I want to buy it. When I see a bouncy castle, I want to buy it. One problem, Sonny. You only get three carrots a week for allowance, so you can't buy everything. But I want everything. Well, you are going to have to choose. Making a choice helps you see what's really important to you. <sighs> Choosing is hard. I have three carrots. One, two, three. I want three things. One, two, three. So why do I have to choose? Because the things you want don't all cost the same amount. So let's give this more thought. I don't want to think. I want to spend. Well, let's see. You really like that toy rocket? I love it. Okay, that toy rocket costs two carrots. One, two. And you really like that pogo stick? I love it. Okay. That pogo stick costs three carrots. And you really like that bouncy castle? I love it! That bouncy castle costs 100 carrots. Whoa. That's ridiculous well it's not ridiculous if you have 100 carrots and nothing else to spend it on still ridiculous forget the bouncy castle and the toy you already have a lots of toys yeah forget the toy hmm what can I buy with my three carrots I'll buy the pogo stick. Great, sounds like you made your choice. How about we go to the toy store now? Wow, Sonny, you're getting really good at this money stuff. Yes, I'm a smart spender. And I love it. Boing, 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 boing. The end. The Money Bunny Books are a series of books for young children to help teach them a few simple facts about money. In Earn It, Talented Bun wants to be rich and famous, but learns that it takes work. In Spend It, Enthusiastic Sunny wants to buy everything, but learns to make choices. Do they get what they want? Not exactly. Do they discover something valuable? Yes. It's never too early to teach your little bunny about money. 
after Teddy and I read Spend It the first time, we talked about him earning an allowance every week. And we thought that was a great idea for him to learn how to make choices about what to buy. Because just like Sonny in Spend It, Teddy wants to buy everything. So right now, Teddy is saving up for a very special toy. Do you remember what toy you're saving up for? Wampa. A Wampa from Star Wars. Um, so we made Teddy's chore chart. And we came up with some ideas of some chores that Teddy could do. Teddy, can you tell our preschool friends what chores you do? I did the laundry. What did you do with the laundry? I put away laundry. Look at the camera so they can hear you. I did away laundry. What else did you do? I feed the cats. Good. And put up. Um, with the groceries, what did you help with the groceries do? I put away groceries. Good. And you helped your brother, do you remember what you helped him do on the stairs? No. You helped vacuum. Uh, I helped vacuum the stairs. Yep. So every time Teddy does a chore, we come over here and we put a circle on our chart. And we've decided that every circle is worth 25 cents. So one, two, three, four circles equals a dollar. So Teddy earned five dollars last and week. Then, and there's someone right here and here. Yes, so sometimes I say, Teddy, go put a circle on your, toy, your chore chart. And he came down here. So we also got to have a moment of learning where we talked about the importance of filling in a chart a specific way, going on the left to the right. Because if you have them all randomly all around, it's hard to see exactly how much money you've earned. So Teddy and I hope that you could find ways to help out with chores around your house. Have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, that's the one that's me.